How's it going, Short Kings? It's week 12, and the Dwarves are back, heading down to West Virginia to play at Marshall. This Marshall squad continues to fill the trend that we've been seeing, where our opponents are rated way, 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 way higher than us. Um, they're 5-4 and four on the season, as opposed to our 7-2, and two, although Herbstreit will say that we're going to win. And besides this loss week one against Miami, their wins are pretty solid and their losses are, let's see, we got one in overtime, one to the number six team in the nation, and one to a seven and two Southern Miss. Before we go into the game, we've got a defensive coordinator and an offensive coordinator level up. And to be honest, I like to just go uh, first three levels into these. Stamina increases, uh, helps avoid injury as well. So two things that help our good players stay on the field a little bit longer. We will get right into this game today. As you can see, Marshall 81 overall. Uh, slight edge for them on their offense compared to their defense, but we'll get right into this one. The Thunder and Herd have a pretty mediocre offense with a slightly worse defense. But with the slider changes, I'm going to assume that they're going to put up a really good fight today. They've got one player, Jason Bailey, the center, uh, visiting today. And their top players are high 80s overall. Right tackle, a center, and a left end. Uh, that's probably going to help us. The fact that they don't have a bunch of skill position players up there. And another thing helping us is uh, their left tackle. Out for two weeks with a broken tailbone. It's a snowy day here in West Virginia. And we're going to hope for the best. Just trying to hold on and maybe have a chance winning the, the Eastern Division of the CUSA. here at Jones C. Edwards Stadium and gosh it's uh it's a nice whiteout from the fans night game in the snow it should cause some problems although it's not going to be like we don't understand how to play in the snow we are from Maine with tails on this coin toss will win and we're just going to go ahead and kick it off we might have a little bit of an advantage here blending into the turf Let's see what we can do. Opening kickoff. Decent kick. Kind of hard to see how far down the field it got, but we held them to a decent return there. They're going to go to the air on the first play of the game. Decent coverage here. Quarterback scrambling. Oh, man. And he's a big boy. Wow. Chase Linton goes for 17 yards. That was uh, just bad awareness on my part. Second play of the game. I'm accidentally on a user on the line there, and... As a result, they find Heilig Foster for a quick 11 yards. Another first down. They're going with the quick screen. And, oh, he's got great blocking out in front of him. It's another screen. And, again, great blocking. Man, this could be a long game. They just move the ball this easily. There's a flag down. It's a face mask. So we're going to help him out even more. Just great. Inside the red zone now. They're going to hand it off. And... Had decent coverage there, but broke a tackle. Thankfully, only three yards given up. On second and seven, stepping back to pass. Wide open, guys. Can we get the tackle? Well, we forced a third down. We're going to bring a lot of pressure here on this third and one. Big third down play. Try to hold them to a field goal. Loading up the box. Oh, too easy. Too easy. On fourth and three, we've held them to this attempt. Couldn't see a bad kicker. But nope, pretty easy little hit there. And they're going to go up 3-0. You know, all things considered, the way that our uh, our offense was looking, or our, sorry, our defense was looking against their offense at the start of that one, that could have been a whole lot worse. And Gene Nunez, great return there. 32 yards on the return, puts us at the 33. And we're going to see what Tlaib Noel can do running. 
try to get the running game established so that we don't have to pass with Richie as much. You know, these new sliders certainly don't help, and that was a great, great little move to get the first down. Well, we don't expect to win. Still be great here. Trying to get to a better bowl, losing a yard on that play. Second and 11, stepping back to pass. Whoever X is, oh, it's Donnie Schaefer. Wide open for the first down. First and 10 now. The handoff to Lieb Noel. I don't know how we got to the edge there, but it worked out for a good five yard gain. Second and five, Richie's gonna drop back to pass. We find AJ Norton. He held on to that one. Almost a risky pass, but it just slotted in there nicely. One first down, going with the read option. Richie Kirk's gonna keep it. He's got some blockers out in front. Oh, almost was able to slip through that gap, but still seven yards. Give another run here to Tlaib. And on second and three, can he fall forward? Okay, he got a yard. Manageable third down. Probably four down territory. All the dive here. Irby's come in. Third and two. He's got the speed, but the line doesn't hold. So fourth and six, we're going to have to go for this. Got to feel bad for Irby on that one. Just kind of got cracked and wide open. We got Dane Upshaw for the fourth down uh, conversion there. After his awful performance last game, G. Kirk has started this one 3 of 3. And I don't even know what Tlaib was doing there. He put on some armor. Really going to try to pound the ball as much as we can. Second and eight. Noel can't make that linebacker miss. Oh, I thought he was going to stand up, but he ends up losing a yard. Third and nine. Try the read option. Again, we're in four down territory, so we don't have to get it all. Richie, can he freeze a couple guys? Oh, not quite, but it's fourth and four. We might take the field goal here. End of the first quarter. Down three, nothing. We've only seen two drives, though, so this game's going by really quick. A lot of running involved. And we're going to elect to try this field goal. I will say, as a disclaimer, recently, I don't know why, I haven't been too accurate with these. He got just enough of that one to tie the game up here at the start of the second. This kick looks to be okay. I think that's just inside the five. And, oh, a lot of great blocking on that return. We're lucky he only got a 26-yard return out of it. They're going to go to the air here. Five wide on first down. Quarterback scrambling. And oh, <laughs> we might have been called for a targeting if this was today. Slides down and takes a shot. Five wide again, second and eight. Quarterback will find a guy. Somehow I didn't get the clean hit on him, so he'll get four yards. I thought I played that one perfect. Now it's third down, and again, we know it's going to be a pass. Coverage is okay, but oh, just a wide open Juracek. And, uh, that's an easy first down. Richie Kirk hasn't had a dropped pass or an incompletion, and neither has this Marshall QB. Quarterback, oh, I thought he was going to take off. Oh, throws it into traffic. There's finally the incompletion. I was really hoping for it to pick, though. Second and 10. Still passing. I got him to throw it out in the flat. That was kind of a bait. So they only got three yards out of it. Might be able to get him to do the same thing there. They do throw out to the flat. We'll get another fourth down stop. We could have held them to another field goal. That would be absolutely massive. They're bringing out the field goal team for this really long one. We're going to try to see if we can't get a little return out of it. They're short. No, they're... Whoa, he had the leg for it. He just pushed it. Wow, this guy has one hell of a uh, catapult on the end of that leg. Thanks to the miss, it allows us to have good field position. Again, Richie getting some good blocks. and It's just barely tackled, falling forward for a quick first down. Well towards the edge. Pretty solid carry. Again, falling forward, getting six. Going play action here on second and four. Can't get that one off in time. We get hit. It's our first incompletion. I feel like I had a guy open. But it's just not going to quite work out. Trying the screen on third and four. Noel isn't, ooh, didn't get any blocks, but he snuck through. Okay. You could hear in my voice I was upset. Everything ends up working out for us. Now with under three and a half minutes to go, we're just going to keep running, burning this clock. Who knows? Trying to put a touchdown on the board. Second and ten. And throw a quick little dart there to, to leave and give ourselves a manageable third down. 
We are in four down territory, so we, we don't need to worry too much. Leave on third and three, no blocking. Still gets two yards though. Fourth and one. Oh lordy. We're gonna try the sneak on fourth and one. I have no confidence about this. Burn a little bit of clock. Two minutes left in the half. Richie Kirk, can he get it? No. Way short. Never got anything on that. It'll be a turnover on downs. It's not often that we see the AI defend the QB sneak that well. That'll help us a little bit. A little false start. False start. Awesome. Uh, we get him to throw that one away. Who knows? Maybe we could get the ball back here and score. They're five wide here. Second and 15. Wide open man. He breaks one tackle and gets out of bounds. We'll stop the clock with a third and six. On third down, they put a man in motion. And wide open, but he steps out of bounds. That's uh, foolish. That's all I can say. Should have a chance to return this punt. Not going to expect Nunez to do a whole lot, but he does have a couple of blockers. Can't get to the edge. Uh, this is going to be tough. All three timeouts and a minute and 40 to go. We're going to hope for the best. And oh, AJ Norton was wide open, but Richie just couldn't quite get it to him. Go to the air again on second and ten. And Dane Upshaw was wide open, but Richie missed him again. He started so well. Now it's third and ten, and we got to heave one up. And whoa, are you kidding me? The most inaccurate pass I think I've seen all game. That one was supposed to go to Dane Upshaw, who was outside that uh, left hash. This guy, ooh, he muffed it. Wow. We just... Missed him poorly. That, he just watched that bounce off his noggin. Just like that, they've got a minute and 22 to work with. Thankfully, their quarterback misses one. Second and 10 now. Go to the air. Predictably, I had no idea who to guard there. We didn't give up the first down, but it's a very difficult third to, to uh, defend. And they're in the hurry up. Bring in the blitz. Hamilton can't quite get there. Benjamin. Wow, great open field tackle. Forces uh, fourth down. Took a timeout to stop the clock there. Who knows, maybe a miracle could give us the lead. This is going to be a touchback. Hopefully, yeah. Landed it like the one. Bounces into the end zone, so 36 seconds to do something. Richie has not been accurate this second quarter. It's not going to stop him from almost hitting Dane there. Yeah, I just want a field goal out of this. Please. 32 seconds now. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Noel was kind of open, but I guess we're lucky that it was just incomplete. We are one of five on third downs. Trying the timing route. We hit Donnie Schaefer, and he got it. I thought he was short. We got to go hurry up now. 25 seconds on the clock. Oh, gosh. Again, lucky to get rid of that one. They had everything covered way too well there, and that's got to be picked. Oh, we got lucky. I'm just making some stupid decisions. That compounded with the fact that uh, Richie's not very accurate isn't helping, and that's a bad incompletion. This might be a little bit controversial. 15 seconds in around 30. Fourth and 10, when they've got a solid kicker. We're going to find Khalif James, and he's free! Across the 30, the 20, the 10! It's a touchdown for the Dwarves right at the end of the half. What a throw and what a play from Khalif James. That'll give us the lead with six seconds to go. Absolutely unexpected play there. Sometimes there's a reason that you go for it on fourth and 10 at your own 30. <laughs> that worked out perfectly. Now we just need to get into the half because we do get the ball. Two seconds on the clock. We'll go uh, prevent here. They're probably going to run the ball, but just to be safe, we don't want anything crazy. That'll be halftime. Up 10-3. It's a touchdown game as we head into the locker rooms and uh, big plays win games. If we were really lucky, it would be Gene Nunez doing something for us now. Following his blockers. Oh, Donnie, what are you doing? Okay, that worked out better than I was expecting. <laughs> Donnie Schaefer just kind of stopped in his tracks. The way that this game's been going, honestly, 
We might just start burning clock pretty soon. Just a field goal on this drive might be enough. Trying to make a throw. Ooh, slotted it in there to AJ, but he couldn't hold on through the contact on that one. Third and one. Let's see what Talib can do on the running game. Ah, I hit the wrong hole there. Fourth and two. We'll probably punt this one away. You know, I've actually changed my mind. We're going to go for this. One upshot doing that, though. Fourth and two. Donnie's open. Can he hold on through the contact? He can. We're at the 45 now. Oh, if I would have thrown that earlier, it would have been a lot better, but just relying on the stars. 8 of 18 passing. Again, going to the quick slants. Again, just overthrowing AJ Norton. It's almost like it's impossible for Richie to go above 500 on the day, and that was a great carry. It seemed like Noel had a little burst of speed to get through the hole there. First and 10. Looking for a quick pass. We're going to get it to Gene Nunez. Steps out of bounds after a quick four yards. Hit to Tlaib here again. Second and six. Eh, kind of fell forward, but got hit way too far behind the line of scrimmage, and it's a loss of two. On third and eight. Stepping back to pass. Can we hit Norton? No. Oh, goodness. I waited. I threw that a little bit too quick, I think, that time. And I know that we have better field position this time around, but we're going to go for the punt. Let's try to put him deep and just hold on to this lead. And that should be a good one. Oh, my gosh, please. Let's go. It's out at the one. We got a blitz here. We have to. Somebody blow this up. Give us a safety. We hit him in the backfield. Oh, he got the stiff arm cheese to get safe. Oh, my gosh. Something's got to give here. Oh, we couldn't get set quick enough. He's breaking free. That's going to be a touchdown, isn't it? Oh, just like that, we give up the 99-yard touchdown. I don't think Devin Lester can dive. Nobody able to get to him. Are you kidding me? No penalties on the play. Heilich Foster bounced it to the edge. We weren't set properly. I should have taken a timeout. It's a 99-yard touchdown run for the Thunder and Herd to tie this one up. That's so disappointing. Everything looked like it was going to turn up dwarves, but just a good play there. And to think that the play before, we were so close to getting a safety. Where's our blocking this time? Nunez. Oh, just the diving tackle saves that from being a big one. We need to march down the field and score a touchdown on this one. Trying to get the timing. Didn't throw that out far enough in front. Second and ten now. Gonna try to get Norton. Nice. We actually connected with him finally. Good first down there. See if we can't get the running game going a little bit. If we can bounce this to the edge, this could be big. Noel picks up a block. He's going to be across the 30 and across the 25, I think. Almost in the red zone very quickly on this drive. That play worked out way better than we expected. And now first and 10, he's going to just have another great carry for us inside the red zone now. I said it earlier, big plays are what's going to be what wins this game. We've seen one from us, one from them. We just need another one. Take the lead back here. Third and six now. On third down, the read option. Richie's going to keep it. He's got a block. I got a cut back. Good first down. Slide tackle a guy as well. Said that I wanted to establish the running game, and it's been working all, all right. Herbie managed to get a yard there. He has not uh, benefited. Seems like every time that Herbie comes in, it's him getting blown up in the backfield. I don't think he has anything to do with that. Losing two yards there for Noel. It's third and 11. The last thing we want to do here is throw a pick when we're in field goal range. This will be safe. That's A.J. Norton. Like I said, big plays. It's a touchdown on the third and 11. We got that 17-10 uh, lead now. But to leave Noel out with back spasms for a little bit in this game. That was actually a pretty solid kick. Almost great coverage. Can we get this guy down? Oh, he's stumbling around. There's a flag. It's got to be against them, right? Well, that's a bailout. We're going to put Irby in. Let Noel rest a little bit. Last time this Marshall team was on the field, 
They had a huge run. Are you kidding me? Please tackle him, guys. Penn. Oh, my gosh. It's up to Benjamin. He's going to get the stiff arm cheese, but at least we don't give up a touchdown. Hylic Foster is just absolutely booming us in the running game. Good coverage for me. I just couldn't get in front of him. Ends up being a good pass. We're going to bring a blitz on second and two. It works out. Get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing else. We're going to try it again. Third and two. It's an option. Nobody able to get to the running back in time. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. Um, they're going to make me choose a play, but there's no way they get this off in time, right? One second left. No, he did. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are you kidding me? And they're going to score. They're going to tie it up there. Heilig Foster is a man. And just like that, as we go into the fourth, it's a tie ball game. Not at all what we expected to have happen. That was, uh, I said, Game of big plays, and Marshall had a majority of their big plays in that quarter. Just some incredible running. All right, Gene, can we finally get something for you today? It hasn't been great. There's a little bit of blocking. Gene hits the corner. There we go. Out past the 35 will do it. But this game picking up in pace in terms of uh, scoring. Might be really important that we put up six here and no well. That's a great first play of the drive. We're at midfield already. Might want to uh, burn some time off the clock here if it seems like we're going to score. Oh, wide open man, but we get hit as we're throwing. Shouldn't have stayed in the pocket that long. Second and ten. Looking for no well. He is open. We lead him a little bit. Very Bruh. No, it was a manageable third down, but he fumbled it. Talib, what are you doing? Marshall's got the ball and... All of the momentum on their side. I don't think he was down, right? That's just a clean fumble. Couldn't hold on in the cold snow. Ball pops out. Marshall ball. Oh, man. That sets us up for failure now. Five and a half minutes in the game. Plenty of time to work with. They're going to get rid of it. Uh, who knows? Maybe the D can come up with a stop. Going to the air again. Uh, probably could have been my guy, but... I was worried about somebody else. We haven't been able to get any pressure on this quarterback, so I'm bringing key on Wilcox in. See if I can't do something on my own. And again, that screenplay has been working well for him. Most likely a run on second and two here. I got off my block, hit him early, but he stayed on his feet for seven. Heilig Foster uh, is averaging 19 yards per carry right now and has almost 200 uh, yards. It's not going to cut it. We're getting some pressure on the quarterback. We can't hit him with the dive. Caps can't get him. Come on, strip this guy. No way we just let him get 10 yards on that one. That's a disappointing play. They're inside the red zone. Go with the option. They get inside the five as well. Definitely got a blitz here. Foster's been eating us up. On second and two, quarterback kept it. I think he kind of glitched a little bit. So they'll lose six yards, and we got maybe bailed out there. Could hold them to a field goal now. Definitely expecting a pass now on third and eight. It's a screen? No. I don't know what's going on. Benjamin, huge tackle for a loss. We're going to hold them to a field goal with 4-11 left in the game. And one of these days, I'll get the timing right to block those. This kicker's good. If it comes down to them kicking a field goal to win, I, I don't like our chances. Gene has not been a big enough factor in this game. That's a pretty deep kick. We need a pancake or something. Making some moves. Yeah, just not the speed we had earlier in the season. Changing the sliders around. It's do or die on this drive. Give it to Tlaib there. Oh, huge play. If he can make that last safety miss, he could have been off to the races. Still 21 yards and looking very good. Keep going with the handoffs. Until it really stops working. Wow. Offensive line held. Noel just took a long time to get going, but still gets six. Second and four. We'll go play action. They're bringing some pressure. I got to get Richie out of there. Make a move, Richie. Don't fumble. He broke a tackle. Let's slide down at the 25. Oh, wow. That was a risky play. But it ends up working out for us. Like, just couldn't get the juke, but he just broke a tackle somehow. It absolutely would have been a fumble if I had taken another hit. So we had to slide and, and we'll try a counter to leave. I 
can't you break tackles like your quarterback? He loses three. We're going to be forced to go to the air. From under center, second and 13. Oh, I'm not seeing anything that I like. We're going to scramble. They do have a QB spy. Richie, he breaks another tackle. Yeah, you got to get out of bounds there. We got five yards. More manageable third down now. I have no idea where these broken tackles from Richie Kirk have come from. But boy, God, do I love him. And Oh, that's a terrible throw. Fourth and eight. I don't think we're in field goal range. Well, fourth down. Chip Breedlove has come in. I guess Richie took one too many hits. And Chip has a man. Oh, terrible throw. Turnover on downs. Under two minutes to go in this game. Down three. That's going to be one I know for sure where somebody saw different than I did. And there was a wide open man. We're going to have to take our timeouts here, I think. Assuming we can get some stops. Three tight ends on the play. This has got to be a run, right? We're going to try to get towards the edge a little bit. Come on, bring him down third and one. This is tough. Take our second time out. They do have a lot of wide receivers here. Third and one. We're going to get the stop. That's uh, very necessary for us. And now with a minute and 46 in, no timeouts, we're going to have to try to march down the field to at least get a field goal. Blocking so far great for Nunez. He might have a chance to return. Oh, my gosh. I couldn't get to the edge. That was going to be huge. But I just ran into my blocker, and we got stuck. We couldn't move. So a minute and 37 with no timeouts. We're going to come out and throw a little screen first. Tlaib Noel, big plays, like I said, have been huge all game long. And Tlaib gets us near field goal range almost immediately. Huge 27-yard gain. He got out of bounds to stop the clock as well, so that's just as big. And now this is a risky throw, but we find Donnie Schaefer. It's no first down, but nine yards closer to that field goal. Second and one, calling the slot out. Tlaib wide open. Can't quite make a man miss, but he gets the first down, and we just got to be safe. No mistakes now. So long as we don't turn the ball over, this should at least be... Oh! Overtime, first and goal, a minute and two. We got to burn some clock now. Irby comes in. He usually gets the short end of the stick. We'll see. Burning every bit of clock that we can here. There's only four plays that we can run anyways. So we'll snap this uh, once we burn all the way down to one second. Absolutely massive play. Game potentially on the line with these next couple of plays. Irby fell forward, got a couple of yards. 30 seconds now on the clock. Time to go hurry up. We're not going to have a chance to get Noel back in. It's going to be another halfback dive. We might have to spike it here after this. Irby, 19 seconds in the game. Can't fall forward. Uh-oh, he's not going down. 15 seconds, we lost a yard. I got to spike the ball or something. We're going to run out of time. We can't get to the line. Call, try to call the spike. It's going to be one play here to win. Four seconds on the clock. Oh, terrible clock management for me. How did we lose 30 seconds so quick? They're gonna ice our kicker. Four seconds, we're okay. We're on kind of the right hash, so a little bit to the left. And I said earlier, I've been screwing these up a lot. Let's see, we got good power. We got the direction right. Oh, we barely snuck it inside, but we're going to overtime. One second on the clock, actually. We, can't, we could screw this up. The AI was a little bit confused there. They just took a timeout as we lined up for this squib. I wanted to just hit this first guy. Let's see. Maybe we can get some weird recovery. <laughs> Jolly. Uh-oh. Uh Raheim Husky caught it and went down. So they've got a second to get a playoff. It would be just my luck to give up a touchdown on the Hail Mary here. 20 all from about midfield. They're going to heave one deep. Can we get Keon Wilcox back there to help out? He's got an arm. They came down with it, but they're <laughs> four yards shy. Oh, my God. Oh, man, we're going to overtime. We get the coin toss choice. We're going to go tails again. And uh oh, looks like we're starting on offense here. Let's hope that our, our offense can get it done. We need a touchdown. We're going to be near the edge of field goal range to start overtime. And Noel getting a few blocks. Bowling over a guy. Oh, if he just broke one more tackle, it's a touchdown, but still nine yards there. Second and one. Give it to Talib again up the middle. 
He's got some blocks. Let's bounce this to the edge, make a nice move, and we've got the first and goal. Anybody who's watched me play this game at this point should know that I'm a very dangerously bad passer in clutch situations. So we're going to run as much as we can. Noel off tackle. Can't get the blocks. Going to maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but probably lose a yard. Second and goal now. We'll try the read option. Richie has done well running so far today, but is definitely at risk for giving one up. And let's slide there inside the five. Great carry. Third and goal from the four. We're going to go to the air. Oh, God. We had some guys open, but I'm screwing it up. Can we hit him? Oh, Dane Upshaw. He was open there for a second, but we just missed it on fourth and goal. We've got a big decision to make. Oh, God, we're going to go for it all here. This is a fake field goal. I've just got to get the pass off. We haven't been successful with that in the past. Spamming the pass button, Bruh. and we missed him. Chip couldn't get it off in time, and he's 0-2 now on the passing, so we've got to hold them. Uh, we got to get a turnover. We're, we just lost the game, I think. I'm going to have to do everything in my power to get to this quarterback using Keon Wilcox. Oh, such a great start. We almost made it. At least we knock him out only a gain of two. Our hope is either we get a turnover or we push him out of field goal range. I'm not entirely sure why, but they're going in the hurry up now. Second and eight. Been so close to this quarterback. We just can't quite hit him. Wide open, man. It's a first down. You know, they could kick a field goal if they wanted to right now and it would be game over. This is a heartbreaking loss. All oh, because I didn't kick the field goal. First and ten. Keon hits the quarterback. But he's found his man for four more yards. They're going to be five wide here. I want everybody pressed up. Try to jam them at the line of scrimmage. Keon, good pressure. Gets the quarterback to scramble. No fumble, though. It's third and five. Oh, we need a turnover so bad. We've made every adjustment to the defense to make them more aggressive, trying to strip the ball, trying to do anything that they can. Quarterback, plenty of time in the pocket. He's running. He breaks one. We can't strip it. It's a sack, but it's fourth and nine, and they are way too close to score here. I think we're screwed. He'll bring out the field goal formation. We'll try to ice him. Not sure it'll work. And, of course, they have the anti-freeze skill. Seems like every single coach has it, so we're going to have to time this perfectly with Nunez. And that's going to be game. He hit it, no problem. Heartbreaking loss. Just oh, so frustrating. Chip had Irby wide open in the end zone there in the first overtime, but couldn't get it done. That'll be our second conference loss, and we won't even get a chance really against number six Western Kentucky there. They aren't losing in conference. Oh, disappointing. In the end, it is an ESPN Classic game, and we're going to get a decent amount of XP, but how about High Lake Foster? 14 carries for about half a million yards. Just disappointing. Couldn't get it done in the snow. Story of my life. With all the heroics in that game, I can't believe it came down to a field goal. Oh, Richie, two touchdowns, no picks today, but still under 50% passing and chip going 0-2. That, that kills me. Talib ran for 126, so he had a great game. Just couldn't get one into the end zone and had a fumble as well. The receiving end, again, Talib 55 yards receiving for him. Um, but it's A.J. Norton and Khalif James with those two touchdown catches. That was Khalif's only catch of the day, and he leads the team in receiving yards. On defense, one sack for Gavin Tyson. It came their last play in overtime, but wasn't enough. And gosh, if we would have if we would have sacked the quarterback or strip sacked him it would have been a whole nother ball game but just the sack not enough no interceptions as well for the team donnell jolly did make two field goals we should have given him a chance to kick that third because yeah, i'm just i'm hurt right now stupid decision making i believe we probably outgained them as a team no just barely the close game 403 to 416 on the total offense they get it done and they just ran all over us. 20 carries for 231 yards. That's unacceptable. Neither team doing well on third downs. And uh, us going 3 of 6 on fourth downs. Certainly not good. Nothing too crazy happening around the country. Bama, the only ranked team that they're going to show us, barely survives there. 
against uh, Mississippi State. Wins it by one. Richie, again, is considered our offensive player of the game. You know, I kind of feel it this time. Those 62 rushing yards were huge and no interceptions from him. He played a solid game, just missed some open receivers. And after that heartbreaking loss, we're going to fall to 7-3 and three and go on to a two-loss streak. That's that's disappointing. Thankfully, we have a little bit to look forward to and that we didn't do our recruiting before the game. Know that there's nobody uh, that we can add to the board at this point, so we're just going to keep doing what we've been doing. We're offering scholarships to players, giving points to the guys that we have leads with, and that's why it's just trying to fill up our class, get as many athletes on the, on the team as we can. Sam Cameron, the one player that we're not going to be able to grab, he locks us out, so we're down to 30 players on the board. We'll go ahead and just throw our points into these guys and schedule some visits. Seven players that we can set up. How many are going to go to Western Kentucky is the question. There's already a half a million going to that game. Um, I'd rather have the competitive visit uh, than going to a bye week. Send this guy to Middle Tennessee. That must be our next game is MTSU. We're just going to keep throwing guys into these games. You know, sending them to the, the top 25 school gives us so much extra XP that it's worth the competitive visit. Just like that, our recruiting's done. Honestly, nobody committing yet, but so many guys that we have the lead with. So many guys. And how about this punter? He's going to hopefully be nice because we need a new punter, although we did get one down inside the 10 today. But that's going to do it for us. We've got Middle Tennessee coming up this next week. Uh, what, two games left to play? So Middle Tennessee and then Western Kentucky. Unless Western Kentucky loses here in Week 13, I don't think we're going to have a chance for a conference championship game, but we will be going to a bowl. The question is, you know, can, can we get ourselves to a decent bowl game? 7-3 and three on this season, hoping for the best. But that's going to do it. If you liked what you saw, feel free to subscribe. Maybe turn the bell on. Like the video, you know, the, the things that people bug you about on YouTube. Um, but just, you know, let me know uh, if there's some other weird stuff that you want to see done in NCA 14. And if you want to see some more of me, head on over to twitch.tv slash poonmaster69 where we just started our UTEP relegation dynasty. They're coming out of a death penalty. The team is, what, 23 overall? I think it's it's pretty abysmal. Um, but we're, we're going to hopefully be able to pull ourselves in that being said thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it uh, we're gonna get a couple of commits as we switch through the week so a little sneak peek into next episode but uh, you guys are the dwarves sign poon master 69 and wherever you guys are have a good night or have a good morning and we'll see you later adios